go. This is the Infant Cognition Center at Yale University, otherwise known as the Baby Lab. Parents bring their children here to unlock the mystery of what they're thinking. The baby whisperer is Dr. Karen Wynn. She and her team of researchers believe knowing good from bad isn't learned. But we're all actually born with those instincts. Up this the curtain. We watched babies as they were presented with a puppet show. Here, a puppet struggles to open a box. First, we see a green bunny who comes along and helps to open the box. Good behavior, good bunny. Then we see an orange bunny slam the box shut and run away. Bad behavior, bad bunny. When given a choice between the two, more than 80% of six-month-old babies chose the good bunny. And for those just three months old, it goes to almost 90%. So if babies know the difference between good and bad, what else do they know? Researchers here say very young babies very clearly like people who are similar to them. Thank you. Oh, that's so nice of you. And dislike those who may be different. But we're not talking about physical differences here. We're talking about differences of opinion. Think of it like people in the same political party or rooting for the same sports team. For Berkeley and Parker, it's simpler. Do you like Cheerios or do you like graham crackers? Which one would you like? Berkeley chooses a graham cracker. Then she watches as a gray cat and an orange cat are presented with the same choice. The orange cat chooses the same as Berkeley. I like graham crackers. The gray cat chooses differently. Ew, yuck. I don't like graham crackers. So which cat does Berkeley gravitate towards? You guessed it, the orange one. Okay. <laughs> the one who shares her opinion. So that's the it's idea like that's that, that Berkeley gravitates to, right, to exactly. the, the, the doll that's similar. To, to the like-minded puppet. Uh-huh, and away from the, the, from the puppet that had the different opinions from her. And is that something that's learned or is that just something innate? Well, uh, we found this in babies as young as seven months of age. Uh, I think it's um, just a natural aspect of human nature that we're built to judge, you know, in what ways is this individual uh, like me and in what ways are they different from me. Parker also chooses a graham cracker, but the orange cat chooses differently from him. Ew, yuck, I don't like graham crackers. Now watch what happens as Parker sees the orange cat struggling to open a box. This yellow puppy is nice to the cat. The blue puppy is mean. Even after witnessing the blue puppy's bad behavior, Parker likes the mean one. So it's, it's, it's almost that he wants to punish those who don't have the same opinion as him? What we find over and over again is that babies will choose the individual who is actually mean to the one who had the different opinion from themselves. We, it seems that we're at a deep level built to, to not like individuals who are different from ourselves and to prefer those who are similar to us. What does that, what does that tell you? I mean, is that depressing? Is that, is that... <laughs> I think it's, you know, I think there's a lot of reasons why we might be built to orient towards others who are similar to us, to want to hang out with them and conglomerate with them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you could think of it as, you know, how the, how the first special interest groups get formed, mm -hmm. right? In the same scenario, more than 80% of babies under a year old choose the mean guy. And with babies around Parker's age, a little over one year old, 100% of them prefer the mean guy. So is this, does this mean that bias is inherent, that bias is sort of built into us? I, I think it does mean, I mean, we're biased to others who share our opinions or are similar to us in key ways. Um, and, and I guess to try to spin the, you know, the positive is if we're built to dislike differences, we're built to like similarities, it's, it's remembering that someone is like us in some way that gives us the, the connection to mm -hmm. them. We've seen babies express positive feelings, liking good behavior and rewarding good behavior. And we've seen them express not so positive feelings by discriminating against others. So what do these studies mean in the long term? Karen Wynn and her team at Yale hope that by studying these innate feelings of babies, we can all learn where our moral beliefs come from. Anderson Cooper, CNN, New Haven, Connecticut.